Hi, I'm Nick Bonner for treestuff.com. Today we're gonna to talk about the importance of a hut or a holdup thing, and we're gonna demonstrate two specific ways for you to use a holdup thing. One, an improvised method, and two, a more refined method where you use uh, an aftermarket chest harness. So first, let's just talk about why we need a hut. Here, I'm climbing on my Rope Runner Pro, uh, and as we know, SRT is the ideal way to climb because it allows you to translate uh, a one-to-one -one movement. You push down with your foot one, and you go up one. But you'll notice that my device did not come up with me, so I have to manually advance that, sit back in it to lift my foot, and then step again and manually advance it. Manually advancing the SRT device, I think, is not as optimal. Um, so what you need to do is figure out a way to pull the device up with you. Here I have a, a very long loop runner and I chose this loop runner specifically because it was actually too long for the purpose here. So what I'm gonna do is take this and I'm gonna cross it in an X like this, put my arms through it and throw it over my head. And it's, it's kind of long. It's a little longer than you would want it to be. Ideally, I think, you know, this is, I think, a 48-inch loop runner. You might want to use a 36-inch loop runner. But uh, what I'm going to do is just tie basically a, kind of a messy knot here uh, to take up some of that slack. You could certainly do this nicer with, like, a nice figure eight knot, right? Um, but I just am trying to show you that this doesn't have to be super duper fancy to be effective. So now that I've made these two loops here, I can take a accessory carabiner. I really like these DMM XSREs because I'm kind of a sucker for uh, really nice stuff. Um, but now that I've done this, I've, I've created this kind of high anchor point here. I can bend down and clip this in to the tending point on my SRT device, whether you're climbing on an akimbo or a petzl zigzag chicane combination, um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you're gonna have some type of tending point like this and you'll see right away why this is better. Try to remember uh, what it looked like the last time when I stood up. Maybe Kale can do a little picture in picture thing here. But as I stand, the device is immediately tending up because I'm not using a knee ascender, I do still have to sit and stand, but here I'm able to just keep climbing because I have a holdup thingy. Uh, this is the simplest way to make a holdup thingy. You could do this um, with a, a different size loop runner. You could attempt to take up some of this slack by tying a knot in the back or kind of making like a purpose-built version of this. There are also some bungees, some magnetics, some things that go around your neck, a lot of different options, but ultimately I think the principle is the same. When you realize that a hold-up thingy is kind of a permanent part of your climbing setup, you might decide that you want to look at one of these fancier chest harnesses. And the reason that these are nicer is because they're a little bit easier to adjust they distribute the weight a little bit better. You know, I think that it's kind of obvious that they look nicer and it's gonna give you a little bit more options in terms of setting the height of your, of your hold up point. For me, my gear always tends to go missing. So I always, I always, always seeming to use like a lanyard over the shoulder or another method to do this. But I got this chest harness just for this video to show you. And it really does fit really well. And you see that I'm able to set this so it's really nice and tight here, um, which is going to make the function of it uh, even better and even more direct, right? With less sit back uh, and a more uh, direct kind of pulling motion to help take it up. So this is the notch chest harness. If you're looking for uh, an aftermarket kind of ready-made harness. There are a ton of different options available to you. This is just one. Or you can improvise a hold-up thingy by using a loop runner like I just showed. 
uh, whichever device you're using, however you're holding it up, you're gonna find that you need this type of technique to climb SRT effectively. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. Please climb safe and thanks for your business.